so much for taking the time to sit down with us here. Welcome to India. Welcome to Petrotech 2016. It's Thank a, you very much for the invitation. It's an honor. So uh, we would like to first jump in then about talking about energy relations with, with India then. What is the importance of, of bi bilateral energy relations today between the countries? Well, Sri Lanka being the closest neighbor to India, mm -hmm. Sri Lanka can mutually benefit out of India's fast, fast growth. Mm -hmm. And as uh, very correctly emphasized by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, in by 2040, India will be consuming more than what entire Europe is consuming. Indeed. And in uh, air travel, presently India is the eighth, and by 2022, India will become number three. That means there is business, there is attraction in India out of which Sri Lanka can also be benefited. And it gives a message to further emphasize that we are at the footstep of Asian century. Yes. So the growth will be here and Sri Lanka will certainly be benefit uh, being a partner to this uh, success. Wonderful. What is being done specifically to, to build bilateral ties between Sri Lanka and India today to develop the energy relationship? Well, presently, if you take energy in Sri Lanka, the, the only player in petroleum sector in Sri Lanka other than uh, Sri Lanka Petroleum Corporation is Indian IOC subsidiary, yes. LIOC. So it shows that there is a significant relationship with India in that sector and also the fact that the only discovery uh, in LNG was also through uh, an Indian investment that is uh, Kayans and also presently we are uh, the government of Sri Lanka had decided to issue a LOI to India uh, for, to generate 500 megawatts of electricity with LNG so that's a another positive signal and also we are trying to uh, develop, develop, jointly develop a drinkable tank farm which has not been utilized almost for five decades. We are presently engaged in uh, incorporating a joint plan. So with that uh, we will be uh, developing that as a supply and uh, storage hub in Sri Lanka to which we will be able to supply to the the region. Excellent. So of course there's a lot of strategic partnerships that are possible between the nations. What would you, as a final question then, what would you like to see in terms of future collaboration between India and Sri Lanka in the energy sector? Well, uh, now Sri Lanka has discovered LNG. So the future is LNG and India has a huge demand that's growing. At the same time, Sri Lanka's decision uh, to move away from, from coal was envisaged by the Indian Prime Minister and the Indian government decided to move away from that coal investment. So with that, we can uh, have a hand-to-glove relationship towards uh, success in energy sector. Excellent, and especially with cleaner fuels like yeah. LNG and it replacing coal, it will be especially important for the Absolutely. future. Absolutely, also as a, as a country where tourism is booming presently, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka's growth in tourism is 19% month, month. month on month. 19% month on month? Month on month presently. So, okay. Sri Lanka is an attraction for tourism. So this way, not only that we will be able to uh, be energy gain energy security, retain energy security and uh, promote investment into the country but we will be able to promote and develop our tourism industry also. So there's synergies between energy and tourism and, and across sectors. Yeah. 